We're asked to find the eigenvectors of the given two by two matrix, the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda sub one equals negative three, and lambda sub two equals negative five, can be written as vector v sub one equals the vector one a, and vector v sub two equals the vector one b. So we want to find the eigenvectors in the form of vector v sub one and vector v sub two. The eigenvectors of matrix A corresponding to lambda are the non-zero solutions to the equation where we have the difference of matrix A and the product of lambda and the identity matrix times vector x, the eigenvector, equals a zero vector. So let's begin by determining the eigenvector V sub one that corresponds to lambda equals negative three. So we have the difference of matrix A, the given matrix, and lambda, which is negative three, times the two by two identity matrix, times the eigenvector, which is the vector V sub one, which is the vector one A, equals a zero vector. Let's write minus negative three times the two by two identity matrix as plus the matrix three, zero, zero, three. Let's also write the zero vector as the vector zero, zero. And now let's sum the two matrices. Negative 45 plus three is negative 42. Negative 30 plus zero, of course, is negative 30. 56 plus zero is 56. And 37 plus three is 40. Times the vector one A, which is the eigenvector that we're looking for, equals a zero vector. Notice for this example, there's only one variable. So for the next step, let's write the corresponding system of equations. The first equation is negative 42 times one, or negative 42, plus negative 30 times a, or minus 30a, equals zero. Notice how we could stop here and solve for a because we have one equation with one variable. But let's go ahead and write the system, where the second equation is 56 times one, or 56, plus 40 times a, or plus 40a, and equals zero. So again, we could also just solve the second equation for a to determine the value of a to find the components of the eigenvector, the vector v sub one. Let's just go ahead and show both. If we want to solve this first equation for a, let's add 30a to both sides of the equation. That would give us negative 42 equals 30a, dividing both sides by 30 to solve for a, and simplifying we get a equals negative seven fifths. Let's just show we get the same result from the second equation. To solve the second equation for a, we would subtract 56 on both sides, which gives us 40 a equals negative 56, dividing both sides by 40. And simplifying, we also get a equals negative seven fifths. So now we know the eigenvector, the vector v sub one, that corresponds to lambda equals negative three, where the x component is one, is the vector one at negative seven fifths. And now we'll find the vector v sub two, the eigenvector that corresponds to lambda equals negative five. So setting up the same equation, we have the given matrix A minus lambda, where lambda now is negative five, times the two by two identity matrix times the eigenvector, which is now the vector v sub two, which is the vector one b, equals the zero vector. And again, let's write minus negative five times the two by two identity matrix as plus the matrix five, zero, zero, five. And let's write the zero vector as the vector zero, zero. Next, we sum the two matrices. Negative 45 plus five is negative 40. Negative 30 plus zero is negative 30. 56 plus zero is 56. And 37 plus five is 42. Times the vector one B equals the vector zero, zero. Again, we only have one variable here. Let's write the corresponding system of equations, where the first equation is negative 40 times one or negative 40 
plus negative 30 times b or minus 30b equals zero. And the second equation is 56 times one or 56 plus 42 times b equals zero. And again, we can solve either equation to find b. Again, let's show both. Solving the first equation for b, let's add 30b to both sides, which would give us negative 40 equals 30b, dividing both sides by 30. Simplifying, we have b equals negative 4 thirds. So again, we could stop here, but let's go ahead and show we get the same result by solving the second equation for b. To solve the second equation for b, let's subtract 56 on both sides, which gives us 42b equals negative 56, dividing both sides by 42, and simplifying, we do get the same result of negative 4 thirds. So now we know the specific eigenvector, the eigenvector v sub two, that corresponds to the eigenvalue of negative five is the vector one b, which is the vector one negative four thirds. I hope you found this helpful.